Coloradans getting their monthly food benefits over the next 10 days are headed to grocery stores, hoping that they're able to find what they need. They're not online shopping as so many of us do because of bureaucratic red tape. Our Anusha Roy explains. There is the kind of help with immediate results. Our food donations have gone out to, um, I think, 85 individual um, apartments. And then there's the kind of help that takes a little longer to flush out. Start a petition. Paul Varanis is a part of a network in the Lowry neighborhood to deliver food to lower income families. That's when he heard from a mother. Her benefits don't allow for the grocery services that we all take for granted. Um, she's stuck and she doesn't know what to do, how to get food. He's talking about buying groceries online. Only five states are a part of a pilot program for SNAP that makes it easier to do that at specific stores. Colorado, with more than 431,000 people relying on this benefit, is asking the feds to be added to that list. So we've got people that are immunocompromised, that have kids with special needs, that are elderly, that have no other choice between, uh, between going to the grocery store and risking exposure or getting exposed. Uh, and and getting food on their table. In the meantime, there are some limited choices. After finding a grocery store that accepts SNAP benefits, people can search for a store that allows them to order online but pick up in person. The only store we found does that today is Walmart. They can also look for stores set up to swipe cards when the groceries are delivered versus paying online ahead of time. And people also have the option to authorize someone to go shopping for them using their SNAP benefits. How they do that varies by county. Sometimes it takes a village to navigate and figure all this stuff out. Democratic State Senator Robert Rodriguez said delivery fees are not covered. They don't, they don't have the capacity currently to accept EBT cards online purchases. Stores have to be open to any changes, changes that are ultimately up to the feds. As more people are becoming unemployed and are applying and doing all this stuff, it's going to grow. For next, I'm Anusha Roy. So at the federal level, Democratic Congressman Joe Neguse of Boulder County is working on a proposal that would make it easier for people to use SNAP benefits for online grocery shopping. One more related note on this. This is also the time of the month, first day of the month, when people get WIC benefits. So that's for families, especially families with young kids. And they're only allowed to buy certain brands, certain sizes, certain items. And we certainly hope that those are in stock for people. Just something to think about before you go and clear a grocery store shelf out of something. And if you're in a fortunate position where you don't have to grocery shop for a couple of days, and you can let somebody go in and use their benefits to get the limited items that they can, Maybe that's something that we should be doing.